guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i have an amazon haul i can't believe i'm doing another amazon haul already i've only done a amazon home and an amazon fashion haul not too long ago so i will leave them linked below if you miss them probably more homeware than fashion in this instance but anyway if you want to see what i have been buying from Amazon then make sure you're set and ready and let's get into this haul okay so the first thing I'll show you is this I picked up um, it actually is from the brand nail polish direct and this is the box that it came in so I basically have bought someone actually recommended this um, on Instagram for me to use in between gel polish um, appointments so if you're someone like me who likes to get gel nails but it tends to ruin the nails so you like a break in between then this um, set from OPI basically is called the gel break set so it's a treatment pack of three different products First up you've got the actual serum which you apply one coat of and then you have the colour which I went for this one which is called Too Tantalising. It said it's good for medium to dark skin tones because these are quite a sheer finish. There's only actually a few colours um, available to choose from but I really liked the colour of this Too Tantalising. So that is the colour. You can apply two coats of that and then finish off with the third top coat protector none of these you need a light or anything and it basically just gives your nails a break so i have actually applied it um and i am happy with it um how long it lasts i don't know because i've only had it on for a couple of days however you know i've showered i've been washing and cleaning and they've still lasted they are very sheer though so it is maybe even to the point where you maybe just need the one coat and keep it almost very sheer rather than two coats like i've done you can still kind of see the white of the nail and um, all three coats for a bit more of a block color and for the entire kit it is 24.99 i did actually have one other thing that is due to arrive soon but i don't know when so i decided to just sit down and film this video anyway but it's actually a set of beige disposable face masks so i've seen that they do um on amazon all sorts of colors lilac baby pink lemon i was actually very tempted to go for the lemon one so i do have a couple of fashiony items i'll show you the first one being from the men's one. i'm just getting the price up for this when i mention prices i always say the price that i pay i know when you click on the links which i will leave all links in the description box Sometimes with Amazon, prices do fluctuate, so just bear that in mind. The price I tell you might be um, different. It might be less, it might be more. So for me, I paid £20 for this blazer from the menswear section. A really nice linen, but quite a thick, good quality linen. And this is from the Amazon brand Find, which I actually have a few items from. Not from the menswear, though. This is the first time I'm trying find menswear you know when it's got that kind of almost herringbone style to it then the other kind of fashion item it's not really it's more house wear i suppose because it is an apron it's it was titled like japanese style apron i don't know if this is like a traditional type of apron for um japanese culture or not i don't know but um i just loved it it's a plain beige linen and it has basically a design whereby you slip this over your head no matter what you're wearing slip your arms through here <laughs> look at me trying it on i probably wouldn't have a full-on blazer with it but it has basically a simple design like that with little pockets on and it kind of crosses over on the back i don't know if you can see though this is probably showing you really poorly but i'm just picturing you know a little white summer's dress baking in the kitchen i've actually got into baking a little bit more they do actually have other colors available as well it was 15.99 even just hung up on the back of the door in a pantry just to have a little linen apron i love that okay let's move on to the next item now i have in this bag and it is a set of drawers for like storing jewelry like jewelry organizers so you actually get eight in here and they are stackable I mean they're not specifically I suppose stackable in design in that they have little ledges or anything but they're just the same size so you can easily stack them up on top of each other and there are another four in here but they're all pretty much <clears throat> similar in that they're just different kind of designs jewelry holders 
So I thought this would be really handy to have little individual sections for rings, necklaces. I've got quite a collection of jewellery and I don't really like storing jewellery in their original boxes because they do tend to take up quite a bit of room. So I'm imagining this in my like filming room slash wardrobe once we've finished it. Or sort of maybe stacked up on the windowsill or even in a wardrobe kind of on display or scatter them in a drawer put them in a drawer so you pull out the drawer and they're all kind of organized so for the entire set of eight different kind of jewelry trays it was 19.99 and i do believe they had other colors available as well this is actually something i had on order for my previous amazon haul but it didn't arrive in time so i might as well include it within this video it's this cute little bum vase the very kind of designer dupe inspired one now i have one somewhere it's over on my bedside table it's actually quite a bit bigger than this one but i liked the shortness to this and also the fact that this one is cream as opposed to my other one which is like a true white you can see in comparison to my white top that it's more of a creamy kind of color this was 15 pounds nice ceramic vase very on trend and these are great with like a little bit of pampas sticking out or some bunny tails then i'll also show you this which i picked up a set of two jute shopper bags these are in the same kind of fabric that kind of jute fabric that you get from like neptune home it was 15 pounds for the set for the pair but i just think they come in really handy and they're good to have in the back of your car maybe kind of stored open with some other carrier bags inside i did pick up a few car air fresheners i have a new car which i'm excited about so um yeah so i'm stocking up on some car air fresheners i picked up these two from little trees the black version and the white so one is called arctic white and the other one is called black ice then i also picked up this one from yankee candle i find these um, are really strongly fragranced and do tend to last quite a good few weeks so this one is in seaside woods this one was one pound the white one for some reason was one pound fifty and then these yankee candle ones two pound forty nine i do love an amazon order i actually got quite a lot of books for this video well for this video for me but to include within this video and i think i'll try and show you all of the books now so that you can um yes yeah, see my full new book collection so this first one is a bit of fun and something a bit different this one was 20 pounds and it's called my family cookbook so it's a blank for your family's recipes a book archive generations of kitchen recipes and it comes in this little cardboard hold up if you actually take it out the book itself is really minimal aesthetically pleasing nice to have on display in your kitchen each page follows a similar layout to this or the same layout to this and then at the beginning of the book there's also a kind of um example but this one's just pretty much blank throughout and at the front there's also um, a little contents page different cooking times abbreviations spaghetti portion sizes and i'm gathering a bit of a collection of nice cookery books for our future kitchen so that can be added to that another book that i decided to pick up from the secret if you've read it or watched it i know there's a film on netflix now as well the secret is all about sort of positive uh, mindfulness practice and positivity in your life and how you kind of attract positivity with positive thoughts it's all about the law of attraction and i just really like the idea that they've brought out this book called the greatest secret and um yeah i thought it could have a flick through of this and have a bit of a a read it's kind of like a following on from the other one so it retails for 16.99 so the fact that i got it for 9.99 on amazon bargain this next book was 24 pounds and i love this i think it's such a nice like different kind of book to anything i already own in terms of my coffee table books so remote places to stay this one's called the most unique hotels at the end of the world it's in the color scheme that i'm going for this kind of beige and black accents and then this is just a paper insert that you can obviously take off so yeah i love the concept of this i'm really intrigued to have a good read of this there's something about finding a good coffee table book that you actually want to pick up and have a good read of and uh, lots of imagery as well which is another thing i love in coffee table books and yeah, I'm excited to maybe sit through this and maybe even make a bit of a list of places within here that we could maybe put on our 
bucket list of places that we want to go. And yeah, £24 this one was, I thought was a really good price. So this next book was £29.99 and I really loved the look of this because it is um, more dark in tone. I've got quite a lot of like beige, -er, lighter kind of white books as well and I just kind of wanted to incorporate a bit more black. I've got my black Tom Ford and Chanel, um, so fashion related ones, but this is an interiors one. Um, it's called Wabi Inspirations. Retails for £45 usually, so £29.99. You're getting a bit of a saving there on Amazon. And I just love this book. I've already had a flip through and just, it's so inspiring. Some of the imagery within this, for me, as you can tell, it's very dark and moody. And because I'm definitely wanting to incorporate a lot of black accents throughout this home, this for me is so inspiring. Loads of different textures, which again is something that I'm after. Interior books are probably my favourite to read. This next book was £8.89. It's the second follow-on from the Vex King Good Vibes Good Life, which I have and have read, and I really enjoyed it. So this one is called Healing is the New High, a guide to overcoming emotional turmoil and finding freedom. So again, if you want that kind of um, positivity, mindfulness type book, then maybe try out the Vex King ones because he, um, I don't know, it's just the way he writes. It's not a challenge to read his kind of a book. It's a real easy pick up as and when you fancy. There are nice big quotes every now and again, even imagery look. So it's a nice easy read and £12.99 this usually retails for. So £8.89 on Amazon is a bit of a sale find. And then this is the most expensive book that I got at £47. I do find the good coffee table books do cost generally £50 plus. Maybe I should do a bit of a collection of all of my favourite coffee table books that I've been gathering together for styling up once we've renovated because, yeah, I really enjoy it. I just love the idea of collecting some really nice coffee table books. And this one, again, is interiors, which is something that I'm most excited about and find most inspiration from. This one is quite relative to us because it's called Timeless Interiors and Renovations. So if you don't know, we have a Edwardian property that we are currently renovating. So to find a book all focused around that is really inspiring. Again, I've already had a flick through this one very my style. The last of what I would class as the book section, this is actually more of an interactive book and again one of you guys recommended it from my previous Amazon haul where I featured the Nikki Boyd beautifully organised book which again if you're into Pinterest worthy organisation then you need to read her book, it's incredible. This is hers, this is the beautifully organised home planner Again by Nikki Boyd, the ultimate step-by-step -step guide to organizing your home life. Now it is American, she is based in the US, so all of like the spelling and everything like organized is American. Some of the terms within this book are American as well, but you can definitely easily adapt it to, to suit UK life as well. So it's basically set like a ring binder that you fill in and complete. So if you're a list person, this probably is gonna be for you. So I'll just show you like, I mean, that's the table of contents, all about your family, maintenance, home cleaning, parent school system. So again, good if you've got kids, this one. Weekly cleaning routine with all the different breakdowns of individual rooms, kitchen, living area, bathroom, bedrooms, outdoors, daily cleaning routine schedules. This again is so handy, especially if like as you're renovating um, or looking to decorate, paint color tracker so you can see which wall. You can also even add a little paint chip here to stick on and you can see the color. You can write down all the information when it was last painted, interiors, office paint color tracker, um, there's quite a few different breakdowns of that. Home maintenance, seasonal home maintenance checklists. So in winter, fall, autumn. Clean the microwave, clean the garbage, oven, rake leaves, clean gutters, all sorts. I mean, I could go on and on and on, but this book makes me very happy. Oh, there's even pet information as well. So a breakdown of um, information that you need to like keep up to date with with your pet, like fleeing and worming, vet visits, vaccinations, all sorts. All compact and organized within a nice planner as well. So the home planner costs 21 pounds and I'm pretty sure the actual book, Beautifully Organized, I paid about 10, 15 pounds. I'll link my previous Amazon haul 
below where you can find it. But anyway, moving on, I also picked up these two ice cube trays. They These were like in the bartender section. They're a little bit different to your box standard ice cube tray. So this one is one that has lots of tiny, tiny little ice cubes. Good for if you're wanting to use little small ice cubes as more of like a frappuccino style coffee or if you want to blitz up and blend it. These come in a pack of two and these have the huge ice cube molds which you can put little like I don't know, sprigs of rosemary and lemon in. And then they have this standard ball, ice balls. These are like typical for whiskey drinkers, aren't they? Whiskey on the rocks that just have like one big ice cube because the bigger the ice cube, the less chance of it melting. I think that's right. So it doesn't water down your drink. So those ice cube trays were $9.99. And then I also got this set, where is it? Here of these glass mixers which again i thought instead of using like a just a teaspoon or if you're making cocktails i have glass straws so i now have glass mixers they are literally exactly what i say just a glass mixer these are good for like um in an iced coffee if you're making an iced coffee with all of your ice that you can just kind of stir it it's a glass stirrer, but I like the fact that they're glass. I really like that. So these can go in my little um, bag that I have in my cutlery drawer with my glass straws. And you get 10 in here for 7 99 Okay, the last of the homeware items now that I picked up is this. It's a bamboo charcoal air purifying bag. It was 6 99 So you pop it in drawers, gym bags. I like the fact that it came in a cute little canvas bag with the kind of branding on the front, a little rope handle to hang it if you did want to hang it like in a wardrobe. And this can be used for up to two years. And the way that you kind of recharge it is just keep it in the sunlight for a couple of hours. Okay, so I picked up this um, Eye Your Dye Brow Kit. Now this isn't for my eyebrows. I'm actually gonna use this on my eyelashes. So I picked it up in black. Uh, it's the same dye that you would use on your eyelashes. And I used to always tint my eyelashes because I have naturally very fair eyelashes to have a dye it does make a big difference when i don't have any makeup on that's why i love the lvl lash treatment that you can get in salons where they naturally lift them and tint them so yeah it lasts up to six weeks under 15 minutes application up to 12 applications within this kit that is obviously for your brows but i i think you'd probably use a similar amount on your eyelashes maybe even a little bit less it might last a little bit longer and these are good for like in summer in particular if you're wearing less makeup or if you're going on holiday and the kit was £4.97 then for £4.99 i got a pack i mean they said two packs i didn't realize it was coming in two packs but it's essentially if i can open it up little kind of derma blade razors eyebrow razors they're called but these are good for um like any peach fuzz or to shape your eyebrows um if you've got like quite long baby hairs down here as well just really good for getting rid of any of that and it makes your makeup go on really smoothly so uh yeah these are really pretty as well they're like a bamboo handle so they're a nice beige kind of stone color and there you can see the little blade on the end has the protector on it but essentially it just is a little blade that you just use like against you get three pieces in each so i got a set of six for 4 99 and then the last beauty item that I picked up is a stock up of something I already own. If you've seen me use it before, it's my brush cleaner that I use from Style Pro. Such a genius invention. If you don't have one, I would highly recommend it. Basically, it's like a little pot. You put your brush cleanser in, which is what I needed to stock up on. Then you dip your brush in and it has this electronic device that spins your brush within the little bowl super, super fast so that the brush cleanser liquid that you dip it in, it kind of spins out all the product, but not only does it clean them, once you pull it out, it's actually bone dry, ready to use. So convenient, much better than waiting for your makeup brushes to dry, and it's literally maybe 10 seconds, if that, on each makeup brush. Stocked up on some more cleanser to do that. My makeup brushes are in desperate need of a clean. You know when you can put on makeup without applying any product to your brush? <laughs> That's when you know you need to clean your makeup brushes. And this little cleanser is eight pounds. Okay, last but not least, a couple of kind of pet friendly items. So if you don't have a pet, 
then thanks for watching this video and maybe see you next time or if you want to see what I've got anyway then just keep watching. The first thing that I got is actually something a little fun. It is another little book and this is the little cookbook of dog treats. This is called Beyond the Donut Best Bites by Nat Natalia Ashton and it just has some recipes of different things that you can bake for your dogs and nice and healthy treats for them. I also heard so many people who own pets use these little lint rollers which apparently are really good for just basically using against carpets and upholstery, sofas, staircases, anything that you have pet hair gather to just kind of scrape this along the surface and then gather it all up into one big clump put it in the bin rather than hoover and the hoovering doesn't tend to pick up every hair there's always pesky hairs that linger after hoovering so this I'm excited to give a try it's got a nice like wooden handle it's metal this was £6.96 and then speaking of baking I also picked up this which is a little like silicon mold for um baking little biscuits or whatever you want to use it for I'm, I think I'm going to use these for putting like a mixture of maybe banana and peanut butter in these and then freeze them because he quite likes that kind of a thing as a snack whenever I open the freezer now he thinks that the freezer is the basically area where all his food is kept because whenever I go in the freezer there's always like ice cubes in there which he likes or like frozen banana his licky mat is quite often in there with again some banana or yogurt or something on there for him to snack on in the day so yeah i bought this little mold which has little paw prints and little bones as well and then i also got a couple of toys for him having a dog i never realized how much you'd have to switch up the toys they just destroy them it's like their main purpose in life is to destroy toys so one of his favorite toys is like a rope toy it's kind of similar to this one it started to fray to the point where i need to bid it really then um yeah i thought these ones are nice that other one is like a bright pink as well these are obviously more in line with my decor so i bought a new basket to go in there from ikea a nice kind of woven basket so i'm gonna put all his nice beige toys in oh there's another little one there so this is one two three four five six piece set for i think it was 19 pounds and then i also got this toy which again a bit more durable like i said i'm learning with having a puppy that toys don't last very long so if you can get the more durable ones you can get a bit more life out of them this one is from the heritage collection it's a really nice kind of tweed bone with a fuzzy kind of soft teddy bear fleecy fabric on the back there is a squeaker in here but i'm not going to squeak it just because i know what it's like when you've got a sleeping pup and then a squeaker goes off it always wakes them up so this toy was eight pounds and then okay last but not least and this is probably the most practical purchase most expensive for the pet items it was 40 pounds and it's one of these which i have been highly recommended as a new dog owner and i see why now because when you go out and about on a muddy walk for them to get in the back of the car especially as i've got a new car as well when they're all muddy it's not ideal a little towel just doesn't quite cut it especially when you've got a dog that absolutely loves the water and the mud so by having one of these you basically fill it up with warm water um or cold or whatever but just water have it keeps it nice and warm as well so that after your walk you literally just attach the little hose attachment and there's like a little pump which gets the pressure into the hose and you basically have a brush on one end so that you can actually really get into the mud as the water is coming out and you can rinse your dogs down before drying them, before putting them back in the boot. So a really, really handy thing to have. There's even a golden retriever on there so they know retrievers love their water and their mud. These are good for horses as well. You can get them in different sizes depending on the litre capacity that you want for your um, dog this one is the well, I don't know whatever the green one holds that's the little pump thing so that is everything that I picked up on this occasion from Amazon let me know what you think of my Amazon hauls if you do want to shop anything all the links will be left in my description box and yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs up if you did subscribe for more and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys